What is going on guys? Welcome. I made it to where I'm gonna be camping and I'm back in Arizona. I went, if you didn't know, I went to go visit some family, some loved ones. So I'm back in Arizona. I wasn't planning on coming out camping so soon, but I wanna readjust to Arizona time. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna come out camping. I'll get a good night's rest and that'll readjust me to being back here and I'll have a good time. So that's what I'm doing. For right now, I'm gonna go ahead and get camp set up and then we'll figure things out from there. Right, guys i have camp all set up not my normal setup it's just the way this spot allots it and i decided not to set up the canopy or umbrella because in all honesty i have plenty of shade you can take a look like i have plenty of canopy so i don't have to worry about that but for right now i'm gonna go ahead and just relax recharge a little bit and we'll go from there
All right, so I decided to clean out the fire ring because I'm cooking on it and I knew there was gonna be trash in there and there is. And I'm finding bullets as well. Now I did see they do have a cut right there. Someone broke them. But I have heard of people like throwing bullets into fire rings and then when people light them, the heat will make them explode. Which is messed up. So in seeing this, I'm gonna clean it out, but I'm also, I think I'm just gonna make a new fire ring right next to it. Cause no part of me feels safe in cooking on that after finding these. So I had to get the fire going because it is cold. Let's see actually what temperature it is. So it was 70 degrees outside. So it was beautiful. 54 degrees right now. So the sun has kind of set on me maybe like a half an hour ish ago, but it's still, I think like official sunsets at 6.30, which is in an hour. 
Right now, I'm just enjoying the warmth of the fire. I'm gonna wait for that to go down a little bit. And then I'm gonna start cooking. So that is what the fire looks like right now. It'll probably be ready in the next 10 minutes. I can put my grill on there, cast iron, and start cooking my potatoes and veggies. Oh, cool thing about the potatoes, um, they're both sweet potatoes. They're white and purple. When I was at the store, I saw they had purple sweet potatoes. So I was like, cool, I'm gonna get those. I already had the other sweet potatoes at home. So I was like, cool, I'll just uh, use both. Oh, and I didn't even tell you. So like when I relocated the fire right here, I actually cleaned it up and fixed it up and there was a little mound right here as well that I kind of spread out and leveled out and I just got some pine needles and covered them up a little bit uh, to make it look like there was nothing there. So hopefully when other people come and enjoy this, they won't ruin this pit. Something I did as well in uh, kind of prepping is I prepped up my tea. So that's ready to go. I might uh, actually start that right now. And then by then, the pie should be ready to start cooking. I'm actually gonna do that. That, that. That's a good idea. I'll make the tea and then by that time, I'll start cooking. All right, it got dark on me real quick. I made some tea. I have my steak right here, my garlic chopped up. So that's all ready to go. The fire is where I want it to be at though. So here it is. So I'm gonna go ahead, cook my potatoes, veggies, and then at some point get my steak on there and enjoy my food. All right, let's do this because I am hungry.
All right, my food is all done. I put a little bit more wood on the fire and that big old log is on there. That's what it looks like. We'll see what it burns. <clears throat> I have a feeling I'm gonna have to take that off and drench it with water before I go to bed. But whatever, take a look at my food. Here it is, here's my steak and all my veggies and potatoes. So that is my dinner. I have been eating it already, so I tasted everything, it is delicious. The purple sweet potatoes, um, I mean, they're cool, they're purple, but I really don't like the taste of them. But I am going to enjoy my food, the rest of my evening, the fire, and I'll see you guys at some point in the morning. I have camp all packed up, it's all situated. So I need to give you some updates since last night because some things happened. So uh, the coldest it got was 39 degrees. So it was the, this was the first trip I had to use the heater in quite a while. So last night, I'm just sitting here enjoying the fire and you know, it's, I, I'm like, I put the last logs, I was like, let it, you know, I'm gonna let it dwindle away and then out I go. To bed I go, I should say. So that's what I was doing, sitting relaxing, and I start to hear shuffling sound right over here. And it was like, I, I heard it coming, you know, a little bit further, and then I, I could hear it getting closer. And I was like, oh no, there's a critter coming. Or, you know, there's some animal coming towards me. So I quickly, I'm like, where's my flashlight? I start, you know, stomping my feet, making some noise just to like, you know, let it know, hey, there's someone right here next to the fire, but I could still hear it coming closer as I was getting my light. Get my light, turn it on, and I flash it right there. And my heart sank because of out of all of the animals, it was a skunk. And I was like, oh no, this ain't gonna happen. I am not gonna get skunked. Luckily, I was like, is the tail raised? No, it just like, once I flashed the light on it, it froze, and then it just like, it, it was like right there. It froze, then turned around and it went up a little bit and then it started skittering that way. I kept the light on it until it was not coming towards me. And it went, it, like I lost it over there somewhere. I was like, cool. It went to the creek to the other side. So I don't got to worry about it. But anyways, there was no incident. I still got to enjoy the fire. And then I just went to bed and uh, hunkered down in there. The kind of 
you know, sucky thing is, is I didn't get a good night's rest. My whole thing for coming out was, let me come out and just get a good night's rest out here, reset, and then I can go out and um, do my thing. Didn't get that. I got a decent night's rest, but not a good night's. Not, not like a, just like I slept through the night. I kept waking up. But now I'm gonna start heading out. I am actually not gonna sign off here. If you're new, this is normally where I sign off. So on the drive up here, there's nothing really spectacular. You're just really gaining elevation. But on the way back, since you're, you know, you've gained so much elevation on the way back, it opens up and you get some great views. So I'm actually gonna throw the GoPro on top of the car, the truck, and enjoy the drive home. Also, another thing is, so on coming up here, I took the 60. Now I had to take other, obviously other roads to get to this spot, but um, to get home, I have to hit Globe and take the 60 to Phoenix. That's the fastest way. On coming up here, I saw signs that the 60 was closed. Well, it wasn't closed yesterday, but they're closing it today, tomorrow, and the next day from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And by the time I get there, it's closed. I, I mean, I think it's nine right now. I don't know where my phone is. But when I get to the fork in the road, that's when I'm gonna map it and I'm gonna see the fastest way to get home, which I think I'm gonna have to cut across Roosevelt Lake and get to the 87. And that might be my fastest way, which will add maybe like 45 minutes, an hour to my drive, my journey home. Kind of sucks, but whatever. So for now, let's just go ahead and enjoy this drive uh, until we get to the fork on the road.
everybody. For some reason, when I filmed my outro, when I hit the fork in the road, my audio did not capture anything. So I ended up having to take the 87 back home, which added an hour to my drive. That's all right. But this is where I'm gonna leave you guys. So just like normal, I appreciate you. Remember, it is only impossible until it no longer is. And hopefully I'll see you next time. All right, take care guys.